There is no before arts really. First day at school, saw an easel and even at the age of five I wanted to paint. When I left school I did go to art college for a year but then I left. It was graphic design, it wasn't my forte. So I went into finance. I didn't enjoy it but it gave me um, the ability to paint in my spare time and I did my first exhibition at 17, sold my first painting and I was away. I thought, yeah, this is really the, the career for me. I did some tutoring as well over in Snowdonia and also in the west of Ireland. A beautiful place, beautiful colours. And I also took quite a bit of time off to go and do some travelling. Did some painting in Australia, New Zealand, and one of the most fascinating places was Easter Island. The one place that I do paint a lot of now is Venice. It's just an amazing place. And yeah, the light's fantastic because of all that water reflecting. It's, it's one of my favorite places to paint. Then I had a family and it's only really after um, them having grown up that I've been able to do this full time. I suppose you could say that my art initially was very realistic. I was heavily influenced by the realist artists like Ongres, and they used to take me a long, long time to paint. As, as I got older, I found um, that I liked to paint in a more looser, relaxed, contemporary style. And I would say I was influenced very heavily by the Impressionists, obviously by Monet, Having been to see the Van Gogh Museum in Amsterdam, I was just blown away by his colours and the amazing effects that he got from, from using different brush strokes. I progressed on to doing more figurative work as well. It produces a narrative. What's that person doing? Where are they walking to? I like to change my themes every year. So like a couple of years ago, I'd have done a load of puppy scenes. Um, we have a lot of poppy fields around where I live uh, in the countryside and it just I just love to go out and sit amongst all the poppies and paint. Uh, and I did my umbrella theme in the city with, with people just walking down cobbled streets. I, I particularly like doing York, which isn't too far away, um, just because it's old and it's got much more character in the streets. If I'm starting a painting, I will always go and visit where I'm going to paint and I'll do sketches in my sketchbook and I will do what I call colour swatches. So I have a watercolour um, palette and I'll just try and get the nearest colours to what I'm actually seeing because yes I do work from photographs back in the studio but photograph will never truly give you the accurate colours that you have when you're actually there come back to the studio and then build a composition that I like that fits that, um, that fits the particular canvas that I've chosen to do. Progression wise, from being a Yorkshire artist to then a national artist through White Wall Galleries, I've started now leaning towards doing more shows and exhibitions abroad. And my first foray into international exhibitions was last year in Paris at the Carousel de Louvre. And while I was in Paris, obviously did many, many paintings. It was absolutely beautiful. We were there in autumn, so the colours of the trees were fantastic. And again, this October, I'm back at the Carousel de Louvre. And then I'm hoping to do some more international exhibitions in other places around the world um, in years to come.